Camera Match's new preview object is contained within the Camera Match object itself. It can be turned on and off through the object info palette. This object shows as red and green vertical planes, but set to the perspective view calculated by the current settings in the Camera Match object. As control lines are put in their positions and other settings are adjusted in the Camera Match object, the preview object automatically updates itself according to the new settings. This gives a live preview while adjustments are being made. By default, the preview object is drawn as a 10-foot cube. These dimensions can all be changed in the preview object settings. Since we know the size of the part of the building that we're working on, we can set it to the dimensions of that area. Setting it to the size of an element within the photo like this will let you use it like a virtual model to align to the photograph. Now we can make fine adjustments to the control lines to fine tune the view before we even click the set view button. Once we have something close enough, we can click the set view button and we'll be sure that the model will show up in exactly the same position as the preview object was. Of course, once we set the view, we can still fine tune the view using the fine tune view feature. Camera Match 2013 has also added the foreground and background render mode for a final render of the viewport. Once they're set, the render viewport button will render the viewport as well without leaving the annotations. Camera Match like it's already there.